Hey, what's up? It's Ike Paws and I have a brand new, very, very special video here where I'm gonna show you four different puzzle variants, uh, particularly math doku, kalku doku, ken ken puzzles, and logic puzzle book, okay? On top of that, I'm gonna give you a free piece of software to create these books and sell them on your own. I'm also gonna show you how to assemble the books. This is a very special book, very special video, excuse me. So I want you to like and subscribe, comment if you have any questions down below, and very important, I want you to get all the details. So make sure you watch this video until the very end. Okay, so first and foremost, I wanna show you the four different puzzle types. I'm gonna show you how to create them with software. Uh, I'm also gonna show you how to put your book together with Canva, okay? So first, let's go over the four puzzle types. Um, if you want information about the keyword tool I'm using, please check out the information below. Okay, so we have Math Doku Puzzle Book. It has over 17,000 searches a month on Amazon. Math Doku is very much like, like Sudoku, but with math, okay? And now if we look at this keyword, Ken Ken Puzzle Book, it has over 500, almost 600 searches a month. And Ken Ken, again, like Sudoku, has a, um, it's like Sudoku, but with math, okay? And same thing with Kalku Doku, you know, it's a play on calculus, but with Doku, puzzle book, it has over nine, almost, actually almost 10, almost 10,000 searches a month. And then we have Logic Puzzle Book for Adults. This also includes Math Doku, Ken Ken, um, Kalkudoku, Sudoku, anything that's logic puzzle based is a logic puzzle book for, is a, is a logic puzzle book. And as you can see here, it gets over 4,000 searches a month, okay? Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh well, I, I don't know how to create a Sudoku type game, let alone one with math involved. No worries, I have a piece of software here. Okay, this software, you can check out, check out the information below and uh, show you how to get it for free. Uh, this piece of software will create the games for you. Not only that, this piece of software is under the, um, the general use or general public license version 2.0. That means you can use whatever output um, you create with it. Whatever you create with it, you can use it commercially as well. Okay, so uh, again, check out the information below. So to create the, these types of puzzle books, you're gonna need this piece of software. Again, get it down below. Second, you're gonna need this little Chrome tool called Awesome Screenshot and Screen Recorder, okay? This is a free tool on the on the Chrome, uh, on the Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, okay, browser, okay? Just go to Google and search it, you'll find it really easily, okay? And uh, you just need the free version. You don't need to pay anything for this, okay? So what you wanna do is go to the Calcu, go to this piece of software, you wanna scroll down, okay? Scroll down. And here you can select the size, keep it at 6.6, six. sorry, keep it at size six, excuse me. And for level, well, depends on the type of book. So if you're gonna create an easier type of book, then stick to level one, level two. If you wanna create a more difficult book, then you wanna go to level four, level five. And if you wanna uh, you know, create a middling book, then level three, right? Well, let's, let's do a number two, okay? So actually I already generated one right here, okay? All you gotta do is click the new button, okay? Once you do that, what you're gonna do next is go to the awesome screenshot Chrome tool, which is right here, okay? You're gonna click capture, and you're gonna click a full page. Just so click full page, and it's going to download, uh, or it's gonna create an image file of this page, okay? After you do that, you're gonna go back down here and you're gonna click solve, okay? Now you have the solution, okay? So once you have the solution, you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna click this little screenshot here, uh, this little icon here. You're gonna click capture, click full page, okay? And you're gonna download this as an image file onto your computer, okay? Now, on uh, any puzzle book worth its salt, has at least 40 pages, okay? So you're gonna repeat this process that I just showed you 80 times, okay? Puzzle, puzzle page, solution, puzzle page, solution, puzzle page, and solution, okay? So uh, if you haven't guessed yet, all of these puzzle types are the same thing. Math Doku, Ken Ken, 
Kalkudoku and Logic Puzzle Book are all the same puzzle. Okay, let me show you right quick. I'm going to show you how to put the book together in a little bit. Just uh, I want you to uh, watch watch this. Okay, so if I go here to Amazon and I put can can puzzle puzzles for adults, you're going to find the exact. Here we go. You're going to find the exact puzzle I just showed you. Right? You see that? If I go to uh, let me see, Math Doku. Check this out. Go to Math Doku. And guys, uh, the the search uh, the result count is so low. Check this out, only 206. Let me let, let me go to books. Let me go to books as well. I, I bet it's only under a thousand. See, on, on 915. Okay, and again, the same exact puzzle. So these are po four puzzle types, or I should say, four different puzzle keyword types, but they are the same uh, type of puzzle. Okay, let's do Kalkudoku just to show you. Kalkudoku, Kalkudoku, okay, and again, the same exact puzzle type, okay, so there you go, and again, very low search volume, you know, only a thousand, okay, in the books category, if I go to all, what, I wonder what's gonna, what, what's that gonna show us here, it's gonna, uh, only uh, 264, okay, so again, I'm giving you some real gold here, so I hope you take advantage of it. Uh, let me go back to the, the demonstration here. So I showed you what these four puzzle types are. I showed you how to use this tool and how to collect those images. You know, I showed you that it's public domain, well not public domain, but it has a very um, favorable uh, license that we can use to our advantage. And now I'm gonna put, put the book together. Okay, you wanna go to Canva, okay? I, I use Canva a lot. If you've seen any of my videos, I'm all about Canva. I just use the free version for right now. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to open a page or create a design. You wanna create a design. You wanna make sure it's US letter size document, which is 8.5 by 11, okay? 8.5 by 11. When I create an activity book, it's usually US uh, document size, be it a coloring book, a puzzle book, whatever it is, uh, in within the activity book category, I make sure it's 8.5 by 11. Okay, now I have I've opened up my uh, 8.5 by 11 um, example here, and let me create a blank page. So as you can see, here's the finished result. Here, okay, we have Kalkudoku, the we have the um, the puzzle, and we have the corresponding solution. Okay, I'm gonna show you how it's done. So I'm gonna actually create two. I'm gonna delete this. Okay, I want to show you from start to finish. Okay. Start to finish. And now, first thing I want to do is name my, uh, give, a, give my puzzle a heading. Okay, so I'm going to click this tag. Make sure that you use public domain fonts. You can find them here on, um, on Canva. I use Alegrea. Alegrea, tell me if I'm, I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me know. And I also like to use an effect here. I like to use a hollow effect, okay? And I'm going to, Kalkudoku, okay, add my title here. And you know, it's, it's a misspelling because this is more of like a, uh, a nickname for this type of puzzle, Kalkudoku. And also wanna copy that. And I'm gonna create a little page count here, right? You also wanna keep in mind, or pay mind to, I should say, this pinkish, purplish uh, rectangle here that you see pop up in the Canva. It's kinda, it kinda gives you a rough understanding of uh, where the bleed, it's not the exact bleed, but it, it gives you an understanding of where you should place your puzzle, okay? So that's number one, perfect. Okay, now what I wanna do is, remember, I went ahead and I, uh, copied or I should say downloaded this image using awesome screenshot, right? Like I showed you. What you want to do is upload those images onto onto um, your onto your Canva account. Okay, really important. Okay, so I'm going to add it right here, just like this. That's that's this is the so this is the problem or the the game. I'm going to uh, bring up this image so that I get rid of that bottom part, okay? And now with this, with this puzzle, I'm gonna expand on it, okay? Expand on it, okay? Like that, okay? And you wanna, you know, you wanna make sure that you heed uh, the lines or the, the boundaries that Canva gives you so that you have a nice centered 
a puzzle type, a puzzle book, or I should say puzzle. Okay, so you see this, you see this uh, pink purplish cross? That means it's centered, okay? Okay, we're done with that. Now we're gonna, we're gonna have the same thing here. Actually, I'm gonna copy this. Boom, copy it. And I'm gonna have, uh, actually I should put Kalkudoku one. I'm gonna actually delete this because it's uh, redundant. I'm gonna actually lower it just a little bit like that. Or maybe center it again, okay. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna write here answers or solution, whatever you want. Answer, answer one. Okay, so it's a corresponding um, solution for this puzzle problem, okay? I'm gonna delete this. Actually, I'm gonna delete this one as well. And I'm gonna add the solution. Now, it's in color, right? We don't want color. If you know anything about KDP, it costs a lot of money to create color books. So, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna make this black and white. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull up the bottom part so that we just have the solutions like that. And again, we're going to, you know, play around with the sizing here and make sure we hit that cross. Okay, very nice. Okay, now what we're gonna do is click on the click on the image here. We're gonna go to this filter section here. We're gonna go to grayscale. Go to grayscale. Okay. Okay, perfect, like that. Okay, so now we have the the problem and we have the solution. Okay. Now we're gonna number this. Uh, actually, it's perfect, right? So answer number one to Kalkudoku uh, cal cal number one. So we're gonna if we're, if we're gonna repeat this. We're gonna click the button again, put in our new puzzle. Okay. Of course, name this number two, and we're going to again add the new answer. You know, not this answer, of course. We're gonna name this, of course, number two, and we're gonna do this at least eighty times. Okay. So that you have a fresh new book. Okay, so that's how you create a uh, a Kalkdoku Ken Ken uh, logic puzzle and math doku puzzle book. Okay, once you're done creating your 40 page, sorry, 80 page puzzle book. Again, 40 pages problems, 40 pages solutions. You're going to click this uh, these these three little dots here. You're going to click download. You're going to select PDF print, not PDF standard, PDF print and you're going to click download and download all of these puzzles, okay, into one PDF book that you can upload to the Amazon KDP network and potentially earn online passively with. So I hope you liked this video. I was really holding back on creating this tutorial because I'm already profiting with this with these types of puzzles and they're not they get a they get a good amount of search volume, but there's not a lot of competition. So um, I hope you appreciate it. Let me know what you think down below. Comment, you know, share this video, like it. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe. Be good, take care, and have a wonderful day.